everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and today I wanted to talk to you about Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I read this a couple weeks ago and it took me a little while to process my thoughts for this book. I started reading Colleen Hoover a few years ago before she exploded all over the internet and became viral and like honestly she deserves it because her books are unbelievable but I was reading her prior to all of this. So I've actually thought about doing a Colleen Hoover video, ranking the books that I've read. I cannot read Colleen very often because her books are so emotional. And that was the same case with Reminders of Him. I was recommended this book by one of my good friends. She read it and she texted me and was like, I don't care what you're reading, you need to read this book. And I kept telling her, no, 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 no because I knew it was going to be sad. I knew it was going to be a typical Colleen book and I just couldn't handle that at that point. I waited until there was a week that I like particularly felt like I needed a good cry and I was like, it's now, now's the time. So I queued it up on Kindle Unlimited and I read it. I cried through this book, like ugly, sobbed, heaving, had to stop, like, had to legitimately take breaks, stop reading, walk away, and then come back so I wasn't sobbing through the rest of it. It was so freaking good. I mean, this book, star rating right off the gate, five stars. Without a doubt, five stars. I went into this book completely blind, so I had no idea what it was about. Um, and just to give you like a little short synopsis, it is about uh, this woman who was put into prison uh, for pleading guilty to the death of her boyfriend in a car accident. When she gets to prison, she found out she was pregnant. And after she had the baby, the baby was taken away and given to his parents to raise. Um, and now that she is out of prison, all she wants to do is meet her daughter like legitimate tears you guys legit sobbing just I couldn't wear any makeup that day like awful crying awful crying and and colleen writes these amazing emotional stories but they're also romances so like it just I can only read them when I want to cry. There was something about this book and I don't know if it's because I'm a recent mom and I I just, oh God, guys, it hit me. It hit me so hard. And I, I am keeping this very like surface level because I do not want to start crying in this video because it was that good. but she knows where to hit all of the feels about mother-daughter relationships, about mother-son relationships. I mean, the mothers in this book, the way she wrote them, so, so good. And I just felt for her wanting to meet her daughter, wanting to see her daughter. She never even got to see her, never got to hold her, nothing. And it just, <sighs> a book hasn't hit me like that in a long time and freaking Colleen man there are some books that Colleen wrote that I just will not read I cannot read them because I would be an absolute mess I was a mess for days after reading this book and I read it like right after Mother's Day so it was even worse but so good that's all I can say is if if you need a cry if you need a cry, read this book. And I will say that this is one that might hit people differently at different life stages. So like for me, I sobbed, but I feel like younger me before I was at the place in my life that I am would have still loved it, but it just wouldn't have hit me the right way. And I do feel like if I gave it to my mom, she would lose her shit. Like she would lose it. So... I don't know, I feel like this is definitely a life stage book, which a lot of Colleen's books are. People can enjoy them across all life stages, but sometimes you find the one that you need at different places in time. 
And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about her writing. Steam rating on this one, I think I rated this one a three. Cut, I think it was a soft three though. It was a little bit of a slow burn because of the content. Like you understand it when you read it, like you understand why it's a slow burn. About three, soft three is where I would land for this one. Reminders of him, make sure you have a box of tissues when you're reading this book, as with all of Colleen's books. It is available on Kindle Unlimited, but if you wanna have the hard copy, I will put the link in the description below. Also, please let me know if you want me to do a video on all of the other Colleen books that I've read. I've read, I think, one, two, three, four. I feel like I've read more than four, but there's four on my shelf up there. If you want me to rank the ones that I've read, let me know in a comment down below and I will get that out to you if you guys are interested. Don't forget, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at The Fun Size Reader. See you guys next time.